Hey Pisces, Sue, this message is for y'all. Um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, um, or your nose, or pretty much just the whole chart, whatever. If you're just feeling, if you're here for the, if you're here because of the title, then this is for you. Um, so let's just get, oh, and thank you for all of the like, shares, and subscribes, and all of the support that I've been receiving. I love you guys. So let's just get into it. So I was meditating on you guys, and I was, I pulled out these uh, astrology cards, and I was feeling like something, like a delay in something, like a, like there was confusion in something, there's something that you missed. Clearly, we got the Void of Course Moon, ninth house. Um, and then after that, these two cards came out. And it was Taurus and um, Mercury retrograde. So maybe um, you're deal you are dealing with a Taurus or um, maybe you could have um, Taurus in the ninth house or you can have Mercury in the ninth house, something, or dealing with the Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, that's also here. Um, but this is equivalent to like the Eight of Cups, um, and then Three of Wands, Hierophant, and Two of Swords. So I feel like there was like a decision that either you need, needed to make or you were waiting for something you were waiting for, and I feel like there's like, it's like, wait, stop. Like, hold on because there's something, um, there's either something that you missed, something that you didn't know, and it, it's kind of putting you in a bind or um, or just unsure about yourself. And it could, some of you guys might, might be lacking in some confidence right now. Um, but I do kind of feel like either you walked away from something or, or someone or vice versa, someone walked away and went into a different direction. Maybe you didn't know, they didn't know, or something to that nature. If this is a relationship, this person was married, and you're just kind of like, wait a minute, what? And it's like that person that needed to have a needed to make a decision. But I feel like the decision was made. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck was Libra. Um, I balance, but this is also she's. Libra is also the ruler of partnerships, marriage, business, that sort of thing. So this could this could be work, some sort of commitment, whatever it is. But something, I feel like it's just not the right time. Yeah. I just split the deck on storm warning. So I feel like, I just heard like God's rejection, or no, God's, no, rejection is God's protection. So like whatever happened... It's like, it's, it's not what it looks like. It's working to your favor. But I feel like some of you might be confused or just feeling like, like, damn. That's kind of just how I'm feeling. And it's, I feel like... <laughs> I don't know why I keep hearing five, six, seven, eight. Like, like a dance or like something about to start, like something that's needing to get on tempo, something that's, you know, that's usually like the start before you dance or you have like some sort of like performance. So like something, I don't know. At any time when I see Mercury retrograde, there's definite like travel plans that are delayed. And this could be due to somebody being married or due to some sort of like commitment. So you got the third chakra, solar plexus. And this is about like, you know, your, uh, kind of like your willpower, like your, um, I know this isn't like the confident, but I always feel like yellow between like the sacral and, cause the sacral is like very um, creative, sexual, that type of energy. But when you're like aligning yourself and the chakras are like, I always feel like the solar plexus is like your willpower to just like to express yourself. 
So there could have been a delay in you expressing it. And I did say five, six, seven, eight, like a performance. Whatever this was, I feel like there's some sort of completion with it. You know, messages for the temple path. And this is a 12. And this is um, the healer of ages at the bottom of the deck. So this makes me think about this because this is like the three of wands going in a different direction. If this was a, a relationship, there is a delay because it's just not time yet. Somebody needs space. Um, there could be three people involved in this situation. And maybe that's the thing that you didn't know. And remember, this can be a work situation. This doesn't necessarily have to be a love triangle. Um, I kind of just feel like there's a need to like go within because I'm looking at the spiral here and that's always, that's always, um, because there's definitely something behind the scenes going on. And if I'm not mistaken, the void of course moon or the, the full moon, this past full moon went void of course in the ninth house because it switch from Scorpio to Sag while it was a full moon. So this, there was something cloudy, something shady that took a turn that went in a different direction. And you're just like, wait. And but the situation is always, is also saying, wait. Yeah. If you're planning on getting married, cause I'm seeing this as an altar, wait. It's, um, It's just not a good time to plan a wedding or get married right now. That's just how I'm feeling. And treat, please, like, you can do whatever the hell you want. But um, that's just how I'm feeling. Okay, let's take that. Whoa. Okay. So definitely you were waiting for something. But in between that was death and tower. So definitely something ended. I like the way these feel, but they don't shuffle too, too bad. Yeah, it was definitely some sort of like secret, but you're using your intuition, which is great. Um, and it was probably, you probably felt this over the weekend because it's like something just was not right. Yeah, and at the, yeah. Last one. Someone wasn't, maybe you felt like someone wasn't being fair or someone wasn't giving in to the situation. So, like, Someone was getting the short end of the stick, basically. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So definitely like this offer that you could have been waiting for is like a turn, like a, a bad luck. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant in reverse. So. And this is the higher font right here. So something, yeah, if this is a relationship, it's just not time or it's just not working out right now. And you can see the moon phases right here too. I just feel like there's a lot of like different energies at play like all around you. Like I don't know what the weather's like been out there, but there has been some like heavy winds the past couple of days. And like those are significant, uh, significant of like change because it's it is shifting the wind literally shifts the energy like it carries it into different directions Whoa. somebody came in hot oh the world definitely the ending of a cycle like that's pretty clear but like I just feel like there's a victory in it. Like there was something that, like it's not what it looks like. Yeah, and then at the bottom of the deck, it's five of pentacles in reverse. So you're actually coming out of something that you didn't, you weren't necessarily happy in in the first place. Um, whatever the situation was, you were at some point left out in the cold where you weren't speaking to this person or you weren't um, 
the, just the matters altogether were unsolved. It was an unsolved mystery. See, this is that opportunity. I feel like because these are similar to me, like the color wise. And just because like this one event happened to just come up in between in the middle, it's kind, it might be like raining on your parade. Like there's like, Like if you feel, I think I feel like you feel like you missed out on something, but you didn't. Yeah, you feel like that you didn't. You feel like it's unfair, but it's like you don't realize that you aren't. You're coming out of this. Like the wheel turned to bring you out of this. Like. Spirit, God, you know, whoever you want to believe in. Threw a wrench in the system. Just like threw something, threw a curveball. And, and it just, it knocked you into another park. And you're looking like, but wait. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> look, I did say it's threw a wrench in the, look, you could definitely threw a wrench can you see that there threw a wrench in the in the system there was a glitch in the matrix <laughs> but which is great because you don't want to be in the matrix anyway and i feel like that's what it was you were in this never-ending cycle you see these moon cycles like it was just you were jumping over hurdles for this person or the situation it was just like you were getting nowhere you were on a hamster wheel for sure and I feel like there were many people involved in the situation. You probably gave this so many chances, whatever this was, whatever you thought you were waiting for. Knight of Wands. So if this is a relationship, this person was in and out, just, and look, they're on their way out right now, just not. just not committed you know this this person's passionate you know they go after what they want but they're also very flighty they're in and out wham bam thank you ma'am so i feel like this see how like he's holding on to the his wand oh yeah his, he's holding on to his wand like it's something amazing and it, I feel like it's over here, but like you, you might be looking, you're focused on it like in a different way. It's kind of like they left you with this. You're just like, what? Just this one pinnacle. But everybody knows the Ace of Pentacles is bomb. That's what you want. I'm hearing blinded by something. So maybe you were blindsided by something. And at the bottom of the deck is King of Pentacles. So if this is a work situation, I feel like this could have been like a, a boss but they don't act like a boss, like they're super immature. And this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have been an age difference um, with the, the page. It's like a message. They bring messages, right? And then nights late, they're all about, they hear about that action, right? Um, and this could also be you learning something new. You um, learning something new about uh maybe studying something maybe you guys could be studying law but i do i do just feel like this is um maybe if this was a new job or a new position or um a new relationship or a new offer some something that was new that you were trying to look at differently and you're just feeling like you got the short end of the stick like you don't even have a stick so this is Five of Pentacles. What? Hold on. What was I looking at last time? That I said it was. You were out in the cold. What was that then? Oh, interesting. Okay, so Five of Pentacles in reverse. So definitely coming out of something that is just. This just wasn't good. You're coming out if your finances were bad. Like you might feel like you just have a little bit, but like abundance is actually on the way. Even though like this says bad luck is here, like this is something going in your favor. I just feel like this might be your outlook on, on a certain situation. 
but it's bringing you out of the cold. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Wands. So definitely there's a new beginning. There's a new start to something. Ooh. Yeah, whatever this was, like there was definite like deception here, mind games. And I feel like they, whoever, it was the wrong person. Whatever this was, wrong person, wrong job, wrong, wrong something, because there's a fox here that makes me think of the Lenormand deck. And the, the fox in the uh, Lenormand deck is usually, um, it indicates like um, someone who is very cunning, but then it can, um, then it says like, yeah, next to the person, this is the, this was a cunning person. So this, they were deceiving you about something. Oh, this is the one that I was thinking of. So I guess this is wands, five of wands. So there's no more conflict. But I feel like this is also you deceiving yourself because you were thinking that something was about to pop off and it just wasn't. And you were thinking like, you know, something was great and it's not. You're actually, you're making it out of something that was toxic. Like for sure. Whoa. judgment definitely so i feel like this was the decision that was made and this got the higher font in reverse the decision was made yes spirit came through and intervened through the wrench in the system something happened on the other end that you don't know about but it's definitely none of your business like who cares because you're out of it now like you don't have to you're not in that like they're blowing the the horn on him and he's like oh shit and he's trying to book it out of there. Like, both of these people are going that way while you are looking that way. Yeah, and I always feel like this one, like, in, in this card, like, she's tripping him so that he can, like, stop and slow down to look at this. And it's like, no. It was just like, Spirit was like, okay, we had enough. So the decision was made, and you probably just feel like it wasn't fair, but trust me it was like there's light at the end of this tunnel they decided to end a commitment go like just for you because you either you weren't making the decision or someone wasn't making the decision but there was because there was deception involved and i feel like for this person the ooh, bad luck is gonna fall on this person and they're coming like spirit is coming for, for that ass like basically like you can run but you can't hide type of thing and I keep hearing messages like that in that way but I want to read this temple path for you guys oh that is not the book okay okay Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny. Or, um, is that what that says? Yeah, spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that what you're going through now is all a part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. The light sound the, the, the lights around the temple represent the spirit world. Your family members and your friends, angels and guides, all the loving spirits, spirit helpers who long to assist you. Call upon them and be open to their wisdom and inspiration. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit and your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience. So definitely I feel like whatever path you were trying to go on it was like not it and you probably would have ran into something that you wouldn't want to deal with later on in life so you're actually pretty saved here you were like literally saved by the bell you were saved by the horn here and if you prayed for this like that you got it if you prayed for clarity if you prayed for like 
getting out of something or just something, you know, reveal it to me, remove people out of my life, blah, blah, blah. Like they did it. They came through. Spirit came through for you on this one. So I like it. You really made it out of something. Don't look at this as the Mr. Op a missed opportunity or like, you know, like you got the short end of the stick because really you're protected. And I said that in the last reading, you are protected. You're guided. Don't be afraid and don't even feel bad about it. I like it because you're on your way to something. You're on your way to something really big, I feel. Something greater. So that's what I have for you, um, Pisces. Good luck with everything. If this resonated with you, comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys and I will talk to you guys later.